Um, all right, nurturing. So once you've either made a sale or attracted a email subscriber, how do you nurture those customers or those leads? So here's, this was the tool I was mentioning before. Anyone use Curated? Casey's nodding, yeah. Curated.co is an amazing tool for putting together curated newsletters. Um, again, I'm not gonna tell you too much about it, just go check it out when you get an opportunity. But it just, it allows you to, it's got a, a, a browser bookmarklet that you can use to save stuff into a, a curated newsletter and then you go back once a week, lay it out, it's, it's an amazing newsletter builder. So if you're wanting to put out a premium newsletter and you're struggling with you know, technical side of things, I think someone was asking up the back before, just go and check out curated.co, it's incredible. And this is one of the reasons I think that premium newsletters have a future, because these services wouldn't be popping up otherwise. I mean, this is, I think this is $25 a month at a, at a base level. So it just kind of tells me that there is a future in curating content for your audience, because people are time poor. And there's so much noise on the internet. Now we've published more information in the last two years than we have in the history of the world, and most of it's shit. Like mo it is, most of it's noise. I he heard something recently, um, there are something like nine million pages on Microsoft.com that have had zero visits. Like there's so, like, I, I, I was I, I had reading a Twitter stream from a web design conference in the States last week. Something like 92% of, of the information on the internet has just never been read. So we're publishing all this stuff and it's so noisy. Your customers actually want you to say, Shane, I might just cut through the crap and tell me what works. I'll pay you for that service. Because that's what we do as consultants, right? We tell them what works and they pay us for that information. So, so you find something online, you save it as a bookmark uh, using the curated bookmarklet, and then once a week you go back into curated, all your stuff's saved there. So you're basically just collecting your headlines, as I explained before. You go back into curated, you have a look at all your stuff, you choose what you want to put in, you customise your excerpt, and you hit send. And they're, they're um, responsive templates that are already kind of built in. It's just, it's a complete no-brainer. Uh, these are some of the featured publications, iOS Dev Weekly, Data Elixir, 